Hi there, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Um, today I'm just doing a, a follow-up video. Um, about a month ago I did a video on the Crypto Compare portfolio uh, service that you can see here on the screen. And um, basically Crypto Compare, it's a, it's a really good information site about all sorts of um, cryptocurrencies, has information on kind of coins, exchanges, mining, wallets, you know a lot more than that um, but the main thing I was talking about was the portfolio where you can set up a portfolio to keep track of your coins how they're performing and and stuff like that and I noticed yesterday I logged in yesterday to have a look at um, a couple of my portfolios and I noticed that there was a, a new feature um, and that is here so there's a new tab now along with overview and the risk analysis and advanced chart there's now an accounting tab um, which I think probably went live at some point yesterday, possibly the day before. I don't think it's been there for long. I think it might have uh, noticed it. But um, it's a really nice new feature um, that allows you or gives you a little bit of help um, trying to work out what kind of um, potential kind of tax and, and other liabilities you might have. So um, this um, this is my um, what used to be called my coin. Coinbase uh, portfolio, and now call it investment portfolio, which is different from my mining portfolio. But um, um, I'm using this because um, obviously I'm buying and, and selling on this, so um, it, it will make a hopefully a good example. But if we click on the um, the accounting uh, tab, you can see there's um, some more functionality. There's um, also a guide here, so if you click that, it just takes you through to this page here. So these are the different sections um, in the new in the new accounting feature. So there's an income statement. Um, there's a cash flow statement and then at the bottom there's um, all positions and a, and a history. Um, so if we go back to my live um, account, so this is my investment account, you can see there's nothing in my income statement um, and this is basic because I haven't sold anything. Um, the cash flow statement is the total amount of money you've put in um, and then the revenue you've, you've received from selling coins. Now I don't actually have anything here at the moment because I haven't sold any coins so what I will do in a second is just go through a sort of um, a sort of fake or sort of you know a sample selling of, of of one of my investments so it will show up here and then we can have a look at kind of how that works how it how it um, calculates kind of um, profit loss and capital gains and, and stuff like that now um, before we we start just to kind of um, double check with everybody this is not financial advice I'm not saying you should use this to calculate your taxes I'm not saying it will even be accurate or right for you wherever you are I'm in the UK and in the UK um, Bitcoin and and other cryptocurrencies similar cryptocurrencies are subject to capital gains tax um, there's a page here I'll, I'll link to this below in case anybody's in the UK and, and is interested but um, so this um, appeared this was back in 2014 it hasn't been updated since um, but this is basically how the HMRC deal with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So um, it, it's quite straightforward. It's not a very long um, article. It basically says that you know, for the most part, Bitcoin's outside the scope of um, VAT. But that, um, it, like most assets, if you acquire something and then sell it in the future, it's either um, it's it's subject to capital gains tax, C, um, CGT here. So this capital gains tax, um, if you buy through a business, it's um, subject to corporation tax, um, which is CT here. But this page explains a little bit more. Um, again, I'm not a finance professional or anything like that. So, um, you know, speak to your accountant before, you know, doing anything or, or call HMRC directly if you want to spend, you know, four hours hanging on on, on the phone trying to get through to them. But um, anyway, do your own due diligence. But um, it's quite a nice new feature here in Crypto Compare. So um, as you can see at the moment, um, there's nothing in my income statement because I haven't actually sold anything. Um, so what I'll just go back to here. So if we just go back to the portfolio overview, you can see um, the coins here. So what I'll do is I'll just pretend to, or I'll put in as if I'd sold this first bit of Bitcoin I bought. So back on the 13th of May, I bought like £100 worth of Bitcoin. If we go to the sell tab, um, let's just say I sell it at the, this is just a current price, but you could put in whatever it was. So if I click um, sell, then you can see it should then pop up in the sold tab. So that's the current one. You can see it's disappeared from the top there and it's now in the sold tab. And if we go back to accounting, um, you can see we've now got um, some figures in the income statement. So uh, this is what it, it cost me, £103.99, that was through Coinbase, it was £100 plus the credit card charge. Um, and this total revenue, so this is what it sold at if, if I had actually sold it today and that's the realised um, profit and loss. Now if um, 
in the UK um, I think there's a 10 and a 20 percent capital gains tax banned um, there is also an exemption so if you were outside your exemption you'd pay potentially five pounds sixty I think off the top of my head I can't remember but I think this year's capital gains allowance for an individual is, is just over 11,000 I think it's 11,300 pounds so if that was the case you wouldn't have any tax payable potentially um, if you'd used up your um, your allowance then you know you would start to see tax payable but again you know you'd have to declare this on your on, on your income tax returns or or anything like that so speak to your accountant or HMSC about it but it's um it's a really nice little feature so you can see now that I've potentially sold something the total investments showing there the total revenue so this is the money that's come back in from selling coins and then there's a just a cash flow there um, if you scroll down to the bottom you've got all your positions here and then there's a, a history tab as well which is quite nice so you can order by all these different things but if you order by date you can see all the kind of coins when you actually um, uh, when you actually kind of bought them so you can see um, all my coin purchases there the nice thing um, here is that it also has within the filter thing you can either choose the different coins that you have in your portfolio but you can also change a, a start and um, end date so um, in the UK um, our personal tax year runs from the 6th of April to the 5th of April the following year so um, you can put that in as you say you can see here um, there's nothing in at that date because um, I actually bought this after that so th this is um, 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 this is after or oh, this is kind of before that that kind of date but um, uh, yeah it's just it's quite a nice um, it's quite a nice little feature you can see my portfolio has changed now um, and the overall kind of figures you can see that there's um, an acquisition cost has changed and there's a realized profit and loss now um, where there wasn't anything before so um, that's basically how it works I don't know if anybody's um, seen it and, and, and used it themselves but um, it seems to be quite a nice little function um, the only caveat I would say is that um, if you look just throughout the um, crypto compares portfolios you'll see these little lightning um, symbols next to some of the functionality so this one here next to risk analysis and accounting and advanced chart there's one next to the sold ones and then here on the the date ranges there's one on year to date and you know one year and all and if you scroll down here you'll see here this is the reason why and it's because all that functionality is free whilst they're in beta testing but it's going to be part of the subscription um, once it gets out of beta so um, my caveat to anything like this is that you know if you do use something like crypto compare to, to keep track of you know when you're buying and, and selling coins and and maybe using it to try and work out what your kind of tax liabilities are you know be aware that at some point you know this may well come out of beta and then you might start having to pay a subscription to, to use some of this more advanced uh, functionality so as you can see the basic functionality is free but some of the more advanced stuff is going to be charged for in the, in the future and, and obviously we don't know at the moment you know how much that will be so um, it's a great way and it's a, it's a nice simple way of keeping track of when you're buying and selling coins you don't have to then you know look up you know sort of previous um, sort of historic kind of prices and, and try and work stuff out yourself but my only caveat would be and and with anything like this where you're you're use you're using someone else's service a web-based service you know if the company goes bust or you know they go out of business or they just you know stop what they're doing or or, or remove the the service in the future you will lose all that data so um, I would advise anybody um, to just keep um, even a, a text file or a very simple spreadsheet with with all your sort of coin purchases or investments in it so it can literally just be as something as simple as you know the date that you bought it from probably where you bought it from so you can kind of cross reference that maybe with receipts from coinbase or somewhere like that you know the coin you you know how much it cost you in your local kind of currency um, you know how much you kind of bought and then when you when you transfer for other things you know with a view to holding um, you know if you sell you know a bitcoin and buy a load of ethereum you kind of note that down the days um, that you do it most exchanges will have you know a history of all these functions so you can go back and get it but uh, I know when I first started I have used in the past you know um, online exchanges back you know sort of about five years ago that are no longer um, around now so um, you know if I wanted to go back and try and work out you know when I bought stuff when I you know transferred this coin for that coin there's no really easy way of, of me doing that now um, and that's more related to my mining portfolio than investments because I only started investing you know actually with with my own money this um, this last month or so um, but anyway um, yeah it's just a, a new 
bit of functionality this account in and tab um, it looks like it could be quite handy um, they put the usual caveats as well saying you know this isn't you know designed to be used to to formulate how much you can be paying tax on so um, you know obviously always do your own due diligence and different countries will will have different rules um, applying to cryptocurrencies and and assets and profit loss and, and all that kind of stuff but um yeah it's a nice little bit of extra functionality if you don't have a portfolio you know I would recommend crypto compare um, but you know like anything like you know whether it's leaving coins on an exchange rather than having your own wallet or putting your data for a portfolio online rather than keeping your own sort of internal spreadsheet I'd always recommend you know keep keep a note of all that kind of information you know off off the web and and locally in case these systems do go down or or anything like that in the future and you need you know um, a snapshot of what you've bought and, and when to, to put on your tax returns but um, anyway I hope that's uh, been useful um, let me know if I've, I've missed anything but the guide as I said the guide here is is, is quite useful and it, it, it gives you an overview of exactly kind of um, what everything um, what everything is and, and how it works so it's um, yeah a nice little feature um, you know good work from the guys over at crypto compare they're, they're adding new stuff in seemingly quite regularly so um, yeah I think it's a, a good little um, bit of software but um, have a good day um, if it's been useful you know hit the subscribe button or leave me a comment ask me any questions and um, I'm looking to do a, um, a fair few videos over the next kind of month or so but um, if there's anything specific that you'd, you'd like not necessarily related to this but just um, cryptocurrencies in general whether that's mining or trading or or, or, or anything like that you know uh, leave me a comment send me a message and and you know tell me what you think would be good to have videos on but um, I hope you have a good day and see you on the next video thanks very much bye bye